Who is Bam Bam? Is he good? Is he evil? Well, today we find out. Hi guys, how's it going? Alundra here and welcome to The Secrets of Bam Bam. This is a real video from the creators of Gartner Bam Bam, Euphoric Brothers. And today we're going to find out everything that we need to know about Bam Bam. Let's jump straight in. And there he is. There's the main man himself. There's Bam Bam. This is Flumbo. What? Right? Flumbo? That doesn't sound right. Oh, this is Krupa. Krupa? Right, that also doesn't sound right. Ban Ban wasn't always Ban Ban. And I'm here to discuss with you the secrets of our beloved red friend. Ban Ban and the cast each have their own detailed story and personality. And that's what makes Garten of Ban Ban unique. Join me on the first episode oh, of the Ban Ban Chronicles, narrated by me, Ty Coker, the voice actor of Bitter Giggle, a series where we dedicate each episode to discussing the history and secrets of a member of the Garden of Ban Ban cast. Ooh, this looks awesome! This is so cool. And what makes it even cooler is the fact that this isn't fan made. This is actually legit from the creators of Gata Bam Bam, the Euphoric Brothers. Just makes it so, so cool. If you decide to go and sift through the game files of any Ban Ban game, you might notice something strange. You will find that compared to most other characters, there are very few references to the name Ban Ban. This is because okay. the name Ban Ban actually came very late into development. You will have much better luck looking for files that reference the name Flumbo. Flumbo. I'm so glad they changed it from Flumbo to Ban Ban. Flumbo is very like, it reminds me of like a marshmallow, soft and squidgy, whereas Ban Ban's a lot more strong name. I'm so glad they changed it from Flumbo to Ban Ban. This is the first name that was given to our pancreas loving red dude. And from there, what later became known as Garden of Ban Ban was once Flumbo and friends. That sounds terrible. I can see why they changed it. That sounds more kiddified than what got a Bam Bam was intended, I guess. Flumbo and friends doesn't indicate any horror at all. And I don't think it would have been as popular as got a Bam Bam. Because if I saw Flumbo and friends on the store, I'd think that was aimed for young kids. Was once Flumbo and friends. With Flumbo himself actually being the third character to be designed and sketched of the original six. Okay. The first, I thought he might have despite been the first later one. later becoming the main character of the series. However, oh. feeling Flumbo and Flumbo and friends were two unremarkable of names, Flumbo yeah, was then was. renamed to Krupa. And from there, the Garden of Krupa was born. Okay, I quite like Krupa. I think Krupa is much better than Flumbo. You can see how it's starting to take its shape now from Flumbo to Krupa to Ban Ban. It's going from strength to strength to strength. That's quite cool. And from there, the Garden of Krupa was born. A name that you can still view at older archives of the Steam page. Oh, but I didn't know that. A little closer to release, we decided to change the name from Krupa to a much more Ban -ban. catchy Ban Ban. Yeah, it is so much catchier, isn't it? The final name of this new game being Garten of Ban Ban, Garten of as Ban -Ban. we know it today. A game called Garten of Ban Ban without any Ban Bans to be seen. Because as you might know, Ban Ban is actually absent from Garten of Ban Ban 1. But he what is. if I told you that that wasn't always the case? And that the final game where you only meet Opila Bird and Jumbo Josh was the final version of the game script with two scrapped versions before it. Okay. I often did wonder why it was called Gatana Bam Bam, but yet we don't meet the main character himself. Because for me personally, I would have put him in the first one. But then again, would people come back for the second, third, and fourth? Maybe that was a sort of slight hook, what made people to come back even more to find out who Bam Bam was. With one involving just Stinger Flynn, if you might recall from our devlogs, and the other and also very first script involving only both Jumbo Josh again and none other than Ban Ban himself. Okay, I wonder what This version it. of the script starts out very similarly to the Garden of Ban Ban 1 that we know Looks today. Looks the same. You enter Ban Ban's kindergarten as a parent looking for their missing child and are subject to a few Standard. puzzles that need to be solved in order to proceed. Only this time, there would be no eggs to be collected for Opila Bird, since she okay. simply wasn't scheduled to make an appearance in this version of the script. 
In place of Opila Bird, you'd be stalked throughout the kindergarten by Ban Ban, without ever getting a mm. clear view of him. Think Opila Bird staring at you from behind the but wall, with a Bam -Bam. only with Ban Ban, well, with Bam -Bam and it happening much more frequently. So, if there was no Opila Bird, does that mean that for the majority of the game you were supposed to just be solving puzzles while being stalked? Well, no, not really. With every version of the script came a new design for the map that would better fit the story. The kindergarten of the version of the script where you're being stalked by Ban Ban was meant to be much smaller, with the second half okay. of the game taking place inside the actual facility. This is why if you watch one of these videos that fly around the map of Garden of Ban Ban 1, you may notice that there's a Jumbo small Josh's room the underneath where Jumbo Josh attacks you in the original game. He wasn't scripted to attack the elevator in this version of the script. Instead, you'd safely make it to the underground facility where you would continue to be stalked uh, by Ban Ban for a I find it so fascinating, the sort of growth of a game before it's even released. It had so many changes, like script changes, the look, the names. I find it really, really fascinating. Instead, you'd safely make it to the underground facility where you would continue to be stalked by Ban Ban for a little more. For the most part, this was Ban Ban's role in this version of the script. And as what, for Jumbo just Josh, everyone? well, you'll have to wait for the Jumbo Josh Secrets video where Jumbo Josh's role in this version of the script is revealed. Ooh, I can't wait Stay for that one. For that. Of course, as you may know, this was later changed to making the player first enter the underground facility in Garden of Ban Ban 2. Two. The yeah. Euphoric Brothers felt that the ending in the final script where you get attacked on the elevator made for a much better cliffhanger. But what do you think? It definitely did. Let us uh, absolutely. know your thoughts about this version of the script in the comments below. Well, it definitely worked for me. I couldn't wait to play two. I thought it was a perfect way to end it and such a good cliffhanger. I'm going off script here for a second to say I will actually be looking at the comments about that. So let me know what you think. I'm very curious. I will do. Speaking of the Euphoric Brothers, did you know that Ban Ban is voiced by Geppo, the purple of the Euphoric Brothers? I and did not like know that. most of the other Garden of Ban Ban it's characters so cool. that speak during the games, Ban Ban has some unused voice lines, two to be exact. The first was meant to be said in Garden of Ban Ban 2, where a mysterious voice over the intercom asks you to wave at a camera so that they know you can hear them. This mysterious voice, whom you later learn is actually Ban Ban, was originally meant to say a line if you take too long to wave at a camera. Take okay. a listen. Please, I need to know if you can hear me. Couldn't have said it better myself, Geppo, oh, <laughs> buddy, oh, pal, oh, pu purple guy. This line would be said automatically by Ban Ban without the player prompting the conversation to start by doing a certain task. Because of this, there were too many things to account for, such as whether the player was in the correct room, among other things. Oh, uh, makes sense. It was causing too many issues, There's so it was binned. just removed altogether. Unlike Ban Ban's second unused voice line, which was not added simply because the developers forgot to. Whoops! <laughs> in Garden of Ban Ban 6, while accompanying Ban Ban in the Garden Statue's puzzle room, you will at one point open the door to the red cabin there. This causes yeah. a miniature naughty one to suddenly jump out of the red cabin and run away, which shocks Ban Ban. Normally, he says the following. Watch out. What is that doing in here? Pretty short and sweet, and isn't it? that's where the dialogue ends in Garden of Ban Ban 6. But originally, he was meant to follow up on that sentence by this unused voice line. What even are these things? This follow-up line was never implemented, as mentioned before, because of an oversight. We should have finished that little speech off quite nicely, wouldn't it? It's a shame that they forgot that. Truly unfortunate. Ban yep. Ban's unused voice line in Garden of Ban Ban 6, you will forever be remembered. Okay, <laughs> so we've disclosed Ban Ban's role in early versions of the script and Ban Ban's unused voice lines. So now let's talk Ban Ban's model and art assets. Yes, please While do. While the Fork Brothers don't have any records that document exactly when Ban Ban's model was first created, Ban Ban's first ever render was created on October 4th, 2022. Okay. And it looked like this. This is the first time that the render is being revealed in full to the public. It looks pretty much like he does in the, the head games. The of this render was used as a placeholder for the game's icon up until it was replaced with the Jumbo Josh one we all know and love. Back yep. when the game was still called Garten of Krupa. 
Additionally, this barely textured version of Ban Ban's model actually makes a more important appearance than just being the subject of some secret render. In one okay. of the older screenshots of Gartner Ban Ban 2 before it came out, this version of the model can be seen in a scrapped location during a scrapped chase sequence that was meant to be in the game. This was scrapped very cool. early on though. There was also a time where Ban Ban was supposed to be given a guitar. Mm. But this was also scrapped. I'm glad they scrapped that. Ban Ban doesn't strike me as a musician. It's quite cool though. He hasn't taken on many transformations. They seem to have created Ban Ban and sort of stuck to his design, which I quite like Ban Ban. I love his little party hats on his ears. Does he have ears or are they just hats? Mm, I'm not quite sure. Either way, I think Ban Ban looks really cute. I'm not sure if that's the intention, but I think it looks awesome. Instead, we opted to show off this guitar in the hand-drawn depiction of Ban Ban and Garden okay, of Ban Ban so that's 3's why that's cafeteria. There. Who knows? Makes Maybe sense. this guitar will have more importance in the future. Is Speaking that foreshadowing? Of scrapped concepts and going back to the earlier versions of the script of Garten of Ban Ban 1, there is an art asset that was meant to have been written Ooh. by Ban Ban. At some point Ooh, during this was. early version of the script, you were supposed to come across this ominous message that says, Turn, Turn back. back. That was written in ketchup. Obviously ketchup. There was also ketchup. this scissors icon that was meant to be for an item that was part of a scrapped puzzle that involved Ban Ban in Garden of Ban Ban 1. But wait, what's this note? Okay, little notes that are scattered around everywhere. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Ban Ban Chronicles, where the secrets and history of another character will be revealed. Comment down below which character you want to learn more about next. And keep on Ban Banning! Okay, that was fantastic. I love learning all about Ban Ban and his story. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. And until next time, bye!